I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyrese defends Brian McKnight after Ricky Smiley made comments about his relationship with his children. You put up a topic which I respect your thoughts and your opinion, but I respectfully disagree. You were talking about Brian McKnight. I actually know Brian McKnight. I've been knowing Brian since I was 15 years old. His manager, Herb Trowick, introduced me to him. I actually know Brian McKnight's wife and have loved her and knew her for years. Never had a full on personal relationship with her like that, but I was around Brian McKnight often. I knew his kids. I knew his manager. I was around when he and Herb Trowick were um, signed Robin Thicke. I go way back. So what I am not doing, First Lady, Mrs. McKnight, uh, you don't have to worry about me chiming into anything that has to do with you and your ex-husband, Brian McKnight, or your kids. I do not want what I'm about to say to get into any politics. I don't want anybody to get in their feelings. We are all grown adults, like adults. So we're clear, I'm 45, I have a 16 year old, and I have a five year old. If you don't have kids, and you happen to be someone's kid or a teenager, or you're a grown ass man or a woman. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Chime in. Now, I just recently watched a video from Ricky Smiley who I actually have the utmost respect and love for that brother as a comic, as a man, as what he stands for in the inner city, what he does above and beyond over the years to give back to the community. And I was one of those people, if you go in your DMs, I sent you multiple messages uh, around the time that you dealt with the tragedy of, of losing your, your child, uh, which is something that I couldn't even imagine, uh, which is why I, along with the rest of the world, prayed for you, our hearts broke for you, and we went out for you. And I still pray for you more often than you think, because what people don't understand about comedians is most people that do comedy mask their pain really well through keeping everybody else laughing and entertained, hoping that no one notice how much pain you're actually in. I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. You put up a topic which I respect your thoughts and your opinion, but I respectfully disagree. You were talking about Brian McKnight I actually know Brian McKnight. I've been knowing Brian since I was 15 years old. His manager, Herb Trowick, introduced me to him. I actually know Brian McKnight's wife and have loved her and knew her for years. Never had a full on personal relationship with her like that, but I was around Brian McKnight often. I knew his kids. I knew his manager. I was around when he and Herb Trowick were um, signed Robin Thicke, I go way back. So what I am not doing, First Lady, Mrs. McKnight, uh, you don't have to worry about me chiming into anything that has to do with you and your ex-husband, Brian McKnight, or your kids, because that's not my issue and that's not my topic. I got my own baby mama drama. I got my own ex-wives and child court cases and all kind of drama that's still going on. So that is not my place or pretty much anybody's place to chime into your specific family matters. What I wanna address is I wanna talk to my brother Ricky Smiley and I wanna say to you, 
that it is unfair in my grown ass man opinion to say that that man and his ex-wife and the mother of his kids, which are now grown adults past 30 years old, whatever their specific dynamic is, there's a bunch of things that has been said and done over the years that is nobody's business that has contributed to where they are. This is not fair to say, well, they my kids or they grown, they adults. And so I ain't gonna ever turn my back on my kids. I ain't gonna ever not provide or be there or support or do whatever. Man, kids out here be saying some fucked up shit, bruh. Kids out here be crossing you and doing and saying and going above and beyond to cross you. I do not know what that man and that woman or his kids or anything about anything. Like I literally know Brian. I have not had one conversation with Brian McKnight about his wife, his kids, or anything that went down between them, nor is it my business, nor is it my place to ask him, what happened, man? What's going on? This and that. None of my business. What I am addressing and talking about is I feel like it is not fair to act as if relationships between men and their children that it, at some point become adults, can't fall apart, can't become extremely volatile and toxic. Listen, man, I know dudes that are in jail for getting in full on fights with their kids who grow up, who think they can talk to them and treat them any kind of way, stealing money, flirting with their girl or their wife inappropriately while they're in new relationships, crossing the line, doing all kind of shit that can make the dynamic between you and your daughter or your son completely off limits. Let's go even further. And I know a thing or two. So consider me a professional in this department. I want you guys to Google these words that a lot of you guys have never heard of. All the therapists, all of the psychiatrists, especially all of the family law attorneys, please chime in. Parenting alienation, Google it. Enmeshment, when kids or young adults or even grown grown folks are enmeshed and there is parenting alienation between the man trying to alienate the child or children from the mother or the mother brainwashing, poisoning, or trying to brainwash and alienate the kids or the adults from the father, that is a real thing. When you are enmeshed, which again, you should Google it by definition, read it on the airwaves to educate people. When parents are enmeshed with their kids or teens or young adults or adults, they lose sight of the dynamic between being a parent and a child or children. They talk to them about everything. They go into all of the specifics and details about the cheating or infidelity or the physical, emotional, or psychological abuse. They're going on and on and going into specific details with the child or children because they do not understand the line between being a specific parent, a father and a mother is not friends with a child. You can develop a friendship with your child or children, but that is not your friend. That is your son, that is your daughter. Not to ever have the roles or the dynamics of the roles to ever be crossed or blurred. You can't go out tonight. Why I can't go out tonight? I'm bad, bad. We all know what it is. And if we have never experienced disrespectful men, I mean, sorry, kids, the day, t today's kids are out of their fucking minds. So what ends up happening is when you're a father 
or you're a mother and you are no longer in the relationship with that ex-husband or that ex-wife, all of the negative, toxic, vindictive, evil, bitterness between the man, the woman, I'm not calling women bitter, I'm talking about bitterness, resentful, and a lot of malice and callous is just festering when the kids are around, especially the single mothers who ain't got nobody else but them kids to talk to, everything that they think and feel about that child or children, it spews off. And so that animosity, that bitterness and that anger and all of that vile and fucked up energy, even it, hear me out, even if it's the man's fault that that woman feels the way she feels, when you are enmeshed and your mission is to alienate and stop that boy, that girl, or those children from thinking, loving, beautiful, or highly favored thoughts about that father or that mother, because the venom can go both ways. Have you ever heard of brainwashing? Have you ever heard of people who literally cut off their father because of everything that their mother has spewed into those children or that child for years? So if you repeat the lie or you repeat the truth over and over and over again, if that little girl finds herself saying, I cannot believe my dad did all of these fucked up things to my mama, that little girl is going to align her thoughts and feelings and traumas and triggers and emotions to her mother. And everything that the mother feels about the father the kids are gonna end up feeling the same way. Everything that that father feels about that mother, when they are enmeshed, when that man is spewing all of this vile, evil negativity off onto that little girl or that little boy, that little boy and that girl becomes a teenager. The teenager becomes an adult and they do not arrive at how they feel about their mother or their father on their own. Everything about their worldview of their mother or their father is through the lens of the vile, evil, venomous, vindictive beatdown <laughs> that comes from the father into the little boy or little girl that becomes a teenager. That child don't want a fucking thing to do with her mother, their mother. That little boy and that little girl don't want a fucking thing to do with their father. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.